Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be an update video for 2021 to a video I did last year on how to turn your iPhone into a webcam. After reading through the comments, it seems that after a few updates, the, the piece of software that was in that video has started having some issues. So I thought it would be time to do a new video using a new piece of software. Now, a few months ago, Elgato picked up a uh, small company called Epoch Cam, and now they have pretty much taken over the software and you know added some features to it to help make it a little bit more viable. And that's actually what I'm using right now to film this entire video. Now, there are two versions of this software. There's a free version and there's a paid version. Uh, the paid version is $7.99. It's what I'm using. That way I can get the HD 1920 by 1080. Uh, it's the one that I recommend as the free version is lacking uh, quite a few things. It only lets you do standard definition video in a box. Uh, so the aspect ratio doesn't give you the nice wide angle that the paid version does. Uh, it does not let you use your camera's built-in mic, which could be huge for anyone who doesn't have an external mic and is going to rely on the microphone from their iPhone in order to do their Zoom calls, OBS, you know, however it is that you guys are using it. The paid version also lets you adjust uh, the quality in which you are streaming. So if you're using the cable method like I am, you can set it to high and pretty much get the best quality that your iPhone uh, rear camera or front camera is going to allow. I'm currently recording with the rear camera of my iPhone. After doing some testing on the two, the rear camera uh, picked up my colors in my lighting situation much better than what the front camera was doing. And that is the one that I recommend everyone use. Now, keep in mind, you do need to have your settings set up beforehand because all your settings are on the screen in terms of using this. But once you have them set, uh, you can flip that camera around with your tripod, however it is you have it set up, and then you should be good to go. Now, if you're planning on using this with a USB cable in Windows, the setup's not quite as straightforward as I would hoped it would be. Um, I had to play around with it to figure out the correct steps in order to set this up so that the USB cable works. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure iTunes is installed on your computer. iTunes not only has to be installed, it has to be open at the time of using this software if you want the USB to connect. Otherwise, it will default to your Wi-Fi. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend before even installing the Epoch drivers is to uh, install iTunes and open it up. Keep it open while you're installing the drivers. Keep your cable plugged in. Doing this method, I found that uh, the phone picked up the USB almost instantly versus if I did the driver install first, opened iTunes, plugged in the cable. I was having some issues with the two talking and it kept wanting to default to Wi-Fi. Now, unfortunately, if you're using the free version, you're not going to really have a choice um, to force it into a certain type of connection. It's going to default to whichever one it can find first. And that's not always the USB. In the case of the paid version, you can tell it to only use the USB. That way, if you're connected, you know it's through the USB connection and that it didn't accidentally fall over to the Wi-Fi connection. Now, another issue that I found is at least with the current 3.0 drivers, if you have them installed, the built-in microphone from your phone does not seem to be working. Um, I did find out that version 2.98, which I'll link down in the uh, description below, uh, does re-enable the microphone and I haven't seen it have any adverse effect on the video quality. Hopefully Elgato is aware of this issue. I did send them an email. Uh, so hopefully in the next update of this software, that issue will be fixed and we'll let everyone go back to the newest version of the software. Now, after some testing in Zoom, uh, because I'm using an external mic, uh, there is a slight delay in Zoom, but it's not a noticeable enough delay to really uh, bother anything. I haven't really found a way to adjust the delay in Zoom. I don't know that you can. If you're running through OBS Studio like I am right now to record this, you will have to make an offset for your external mic. In my case, I did a 533 millisecond offset that did allow me to uh, pretty much perfectly sync my microphone to my camera video. Uh, that way it doesn't look like an old Kung Fu movie. Now, as of now, as far as I know, there is not yet an Android version of this. Um, I know they were working on one and depending on when you see this video, they may have one out. I unfortunately do not have an Android phone. So even when it does come out, I won't have any testing uh, for the Android device. So unfortunately, I won't be able to answer any questions regarding the Android side of this. This video is for the iPhone users. Now, if you guys have any further questions about this software, please feel free to post down in the comments section below, and I will do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Also, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up as it helps the channel greatly. 
Also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification. That way you get notified anytime I put out a new tech related, camera gear related, or how-to video, you guys get notified and are the first to see them. Now that's gonna wrap this video up. Again, if you have any questions about Epoch Cam, please post in the comments section below. And until next time. Thank <laughs> you.